Here you see some crystals for radio and television applications. The one to the left is a crystal on 8.166 megahertz. The one to the right, the yellow one, uh, is a crystal for 460 kilohertz. And what I want to show in this video is the resonance frequency of a crystal. How you can make that visible. And I've made a um, test site for this. This is the RF generator. It generates a frequency in this case between uh, 2 and 3 megahertz. This is the counter. And um, here I've draw it, drawn it again. This is the RF generator. This is a coupling capacitor. This is the unknown crystal. And here uh, a wire to the input, vertical input of the oscilloscope. And also a wire to the uh, input of the counter. And both earth wires here are connected. So that um, the signal uh, can come out well and go through the crystal. When I tune the RF generator to the frequency of the crystal, you can see the resonance peak um, on the oscilloscope. I'm going to do that now. Here I use a crystal from 2.09 uh, uh, megahertz. And now I'm going to tune the RF generator. And you can see that there is an enormous resonance peak suddenly coming up. And that's the frequency on which, on which the crystal um, oscillates, has a maximum resonance peak. So when I go to the counter now, I can see here that, is, that it is 2.09 uh, megahertz. And that's also here the frequency of the crystal. So this is a healthy crystal, we can say. You can consider a crystal as a sort of coil with an enormous Q quality factor. So that means that it has a very high resonance peak. Here you can see that in a small uh, schematic. These are the frequencies here. And in this case, and this is the energy on this axis. And you can see here that this crystal has an enormous peak on approximately 2 megahertz. And this means that crystals also can be used in filters. Here you see the inner side of a crystal. It's made from quartz and um, with two wires on both sides. So this is the way to test the crystal.